Okay, hi, it's me, Vanny. Um, I'm doing this sketchbook tour because I have been working on this thing, as you can see, for just over two years. And I promised my friend Star that I would do a flip through when I was done. So this video is for her, really. So I'm not going to show the front page or the back, like the cover, because I have stickers all over them. And honestly, they've been there for so long, I don't know who the original creators are. So we're just going to leave that. Um, classic decorations. Uh, original... Kingdom Hearts manga just because I love more boys and the style it's just so pretty originally I had some plans for this sketchbook that I don't think I really fulfilled and it kind of just went all over the place but I wanted it to be something I could just make a mess of so I started off by getting rid of any inhibitions by just painting it with um, acrylic straight off the bat and doing some scribbles I got really into Zen doodling for a while um, and was taught about it for like creativity and like a method of mindfulness. So that's what this page basically is. Um, you can see there's some leak through there, but that's all right. I ended up covering that up <laughs> with this very pathetic goals <laughs> list. Um, I wanted to fill it in within the year of 2022 and then I scribbled it and wrote 23. But honestly, I only just finished it this year. So that was a lie. Um, I did do more figure studies and I did end up painting on a really big canvas. I had a commission to paint a raccoon juggling. I don't know if I'll show it in here, but uh, maybe I will. Who knows? Um, and then I just laughed at myself because I knew I wouldn't actually finish it. So here's some of my studies. You'll probably recognize some of these from Pinterest because that's where everyone gets their figures from. Um, <laughs> classics. And my... Um, I guess my muse was Zorro. Uh, there's going to be a lot of One Piece in here and you'll see my fandom change. Um, I was using it for storyboarding. I never actually ended up doing this, which is a shame. I probably should. It would be a nice little comic. Um, this song's from a Zolo playlist that I made. You probably recognize this Sanji. It's from the... Um, manga artist that does the food wars I just absolutely love the way he made Sanji look and I love the lines uh, so I just wanted to practice it a bit and get some of the solid shading in so this page was really fun some messy Luffy's just to scribble another Zoro figure study uh, more like storyboarding um, I did end up using this one actually um, for a friend, for a birthday present drawing. Um, I'll maybe show the digital version on top if I can be bothered editing this. Otherwise, I'll just link the post. And uh, I was trying something else. I saw some art that I really liked and I thought I'd give it a shot. And, and the idea ended up not really gelling, so I didn't bother. But I made some notes over it. More practicing, just feet and hands, and honestly, this was really bad practice. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just scribbling and not actually looking at what I was drawing. There was no form to it, but, you know, it was getting stuff on paper. Some more figures. I very much love drawing muscles and big beefy boys. Um, and this one's just some gouache flower field. It's a bit muddy. Can't really see it. There's a path, and then I just wanted to scribble like that's in doodling again. Um, that was gonna be a Zoro. You've definitely seen this one on <laughs> Pinterest. Uh, this is a sticker that I made, I still have a lot of them. I really like them, they're hilarious. Um, this page was fun. <laughs> I love this chopper. <laughs> you are not immune to chopper. This one here, I went to the art gallery in South Australia. Um, they had this really weird, like, display. It was basically two horses, but it was just their back ends, and it was, like, stuffed horses um, just hanging on meat hooks. So that was really interesting. Uh, I tried to paint one of them, 
Um, and then this is just some other art that they did. There's this one room that's just like red string everywhere. And it looks really, really cool. Um, this doesn't really capture that, but yeah. So interesting room. Oh no. Oh, well, I was playing with my <laughs> um, Danzai um, inks. I got it from Japan in Nara and I forgot to let it dry before I closed this book. These little doodles here was just something that my niece asked me one time when I was sitting there. I broke my ankle like mid last year and I think that's why it took so long to do a lot of art and feel in this sketchbook. Uh, I wasn't feeling very creative when I literally couldn't do anything and was feeling sorry for myself. That was a window view when I first moved back home to my dad's place. There's some palm trees out the front of his house that I'd see from the bedroom. <laughs> this here is my dog. <laughs> she was lying on the bed really weirdly. And so I just decided to draw her because she looked like she was dancing. Um, and she's got like tiger looking stripes. She's a Great Dane cross. Uh, boom, massive, massive, yeah. Some more That was a meme that was going around on Twitter and I wanted to join in. And at this stage, I was actually doing a lot more traditional art than digital art because I smashed my iPad screen and I still can't really use it. That's from the um, Japanese like muscle men website that have the the free to use um reference images they have a lot of big beefy boys that are really fun to to learn some anatomy from and then these are just a bunch of redraws i guess another page where i just felt like doing nothing i was testing out my poskas on this paper so nerds it is, and then I just felt like doing a little scribble. That's when I was playing Breath of the Wild. I still haven't finished. It was my first Zelda game ever, and I really like it, but also I'm horrendous at finishing video games. It wouldn't be me and drawing my faves if I didn't draw them in some kind of cyberpunk aspect, so uh, Wild Vegeta appears in mid 2022 um was it 23 i don't know and then i was watching a lot of cyberpunk and listening to something and so that's just some movies i think it was that came up to to watch if you're interested in cyberpunk so um then i decided to do some proper studies uh i'll probably cover this up this is not an original drawing. I completely copied that off of someone else and that was just because I wanted to test out some markers. There's this really amazing tattoo artist in Adelaide and um, she designed this little froggy as a tattoo and I liked the blending in it and I thought it was a good, uh, like a good practice for these markers here because I wasn't sure how well they blended. And then I found out that they're actually like watercolor, watercolor, like you use water on it and it'll turn into a watercolor. And I was like, what the fuck? So I was a bit pissy at that. Anyway, uh, then I got into actual studies. So this is where I started breaking down um, faces and learning the those videos from Proko. I used all of them to start breaking down um, facial structures. So that was really interesting. So that was the first eye that I did following um, his tutorial. And then I got really, like I had a lot of fun with it, I guess. Um, that That's what I was talking about, about those watercolor pens. And I was like, ah, oh, so they can blend properly. Um, and then that's just a horrendous Crowley that I was like testing it out on, but it worked horribly. This is the commission that I was talking about. So this was just a little thumbnail that I did. Um, literally got asked to draw a raccoon on a unicycle while he was juggling. And it was a very well received <laughs> commission. So I'm glad it was so random. Um, and I made it with acrylics, which I don't actually really know how to paint with acrylics, but I did it anyway. 
And then just randomly, Adelaide Uni Bar. There was a concert at the Uni Bar for Thornhill, which is an amazing band, and I love them. Uh, so here's the eye practices that I did. Uh, I was just doing a bunch of mediums and angles and seeing how well I could do the realistic side of it before I started um, simplifying it more and trying to get it into a style that I normally work with. This one here is my absolute favorite, the one that I've done in watercolor. I just like it a lot. And I really enjoyed doing these ones. So it's pen and um, highlighter just because Copic leaked through on this paper. And yeah, it was nice going and doing it with pen instead of using a sketch like I always do. Um, some horrid attempts at watercolor. I still don't know how to use it, even though it's my favorite medium. And then I got onto noses. I have to say, I had a lot of fun drawing noses. Um, so these next ones are my favorite, uh, especially the watercolor. I was starting to get a hang of how to use my watercolors. So I have like Holbein watercolors and I just wasn't very good at them. And it's only because I have literally no patience. So I just kept making the colors muddy because I couldn't wait for it to dry. And then I'd put some more layers on and then it just lose all this pigment and color. And then I was like, huh, maybe. And I went through a Doctor Who phase again, because I absolutely love the term Doctor. I mean, I love all the Doctors, but just <sighs> David Tennant's Doctor, I love him. And it doesn't really look like David Tennant, but you know, I'm still getting there with the actually merging <laughs> what I've learnt with eyes and noses and stuff and putting it together. So um, there's a whole just bunch of practice of close-ups, so I could get a feel of how to I guess more stylize um, what I was learning as well because sure I can copy it and make it look realistic but I wanted to stylize it um, but I do like how it all turned out anyway even if it doesn't really look like it um, then I did mouths so weirdly enough I did not like um, practicing mouths I don't know why like I really love drawing mouths normally like in digital art um, but just practicing it like this was just not fun. And then there's just a little random V. I drew him in, I don't know, it was like in a workshop. I, I still do the same things that I did. I wasn't like when I was in high school and that's just drawing doodles on top of all my notes because otherwise I don't pay attention. But anyway, that's that's my V. I absolutely love Cyberpunk 2077. So the bit of that in here. I did a little bit of the like good omens Toba thingy but only when I felt like it so <laughs> there's the first one historical I really like how this turned out and then I glued a bunch of stuff on it to make it a little bit more 3D. I really liked how this one turned out too and again stuck stuff in there to make it 3D. Um, I then went to visit my mum and drew some stuff that I saw there when I was with her. That we still got like this really old steam, like coal powered steam train or whatever it is. Um, which is very loud and very cool. And then did a little bit more good omens. So these are probably the last two prompts that I did. So there was the hug. Um, and then I really like how this one came out. So I did watercolor and then went over it with my um, pencil. It's just, it was so nice. I'd never actually done that before, um, but it was fun. And I was really happy with how this one turned out. Uh, and then some more Doctor Who. I just felt like doing stuff. These are just um, redraws of some screen caps. Because I love them. Back into the cyberpunk. Um, <laughs> this one's horrible. But I was just messing around and I wanted to use highlighters. So that's what I did. Um, Blade Runner is such a gorgeous looking movie. Then of course, Johnny, cause I love him too. He's such a dick and of course I love him. Another page filler, more Doctor Who. 
These I actually painted years ago and I was selling them at cons, but um, these were the last two that didn't sell. So that's actually <laughs> one piece, it's Dressrosa, and then this is just something that I probably found on Pinterest. Uh, I was going to study hair, but then I couldn't be asked. So then I draw some more Doctor Who. That's probably the best <laughs> David Tennant I've drawn so far. Um, and then I just was scribbling. And so I did some Posca. More cyberpunk. Because I can never get over it. I just love the themes of cyberpunk in general. Just fighting for yourself um, and your identity just kind of hits. <laughs> um, and then of course, <laughs> edge runners, same thing. Just wanted to hurt myself, I guess. More V, so this is my V um, that I have in cyberpunk. I love him. This is probably my one of my most favorite drawings in this entire thing. Just look at him. He turned out so pretty. I love dressing him in crop tops. So that's his crop top there, the bitch one. Love it. And then did some close-ups for him to get a feel for how I want to draw him. So here he is again. This one didn't turn out too good. I think I like copied the reference a bit too much. So it looks a lot more like my reference than it does like my B, like here. But yeah, it is what it is. This, oh, no, I like, this one's also my favorite. Um, look at him, still wearing his bitch crop top. Um, love him. And then just filling in a page on the other side. Um, Cause Johnny and Samurai. I finally bought myself a Samurai singlet with the emblem on it because it's just so cool and then I fell into Dragon Ball Z hell um it was inevitable it happens every now and then especially if I accidentally rewatch it <laughs> and you can never tell who my fave is it's Vegeta um gotta love a good asshole I, I know not many people like GT, but I absolutely love the look of the Super Saiyan 4s and the mullets and the flowy hair and just big beefy furry boys. And plus, like, Vegeta and, like, leather pants. Come on. You can't go wrong. Uh, some more studies, which I had neglected for a very long time and uh, had a quick session with my friend. So <laughs> there they are, the fruits of my labor. And then this, oh, this is probably one of my most favorite pages in this whole thing. Um, I just love Margin Vegeta so much. He's so good. Um, and I like how this turned out. And it's got all shinies. I don't know if it'll glitter. There we go. I decided to use my glitter gold paints and, um, yeah, was getting a real hang of how to use the whole vine watercolors, and it really shows in um, that Vegeta there. He just turned out so tasty. Um, and then covered it in color pencil as well, just to get a little bit more texture in there. Yeah. And then messing around, been reading fix. <laughs> that were really funny. I actually really enjoy how this one turned out too. Um, I don't do too much interactions in traditional art. I do it all the time in digital. And this one just turned out so fluid and nice. And I really like how Goku's hands turned out. Anyway, Vegeta's just trying to murder him with a pillow. So he's just getting smothered. Um, my final page. Oh, sort of second to last final page. Um, again, from a fic. And uh, final page. Scribblies. Just was like I haven't drawn Vegeta in like 15 years now that's why I last drew him digitally like seven years ago so I just wanted to practice him a bit um just went straight in with pen and that's it that's the end of this book I can't believe I filled it and it took me two years that's ridiculous anyway this was for star thank you love you